Welcome everyone, this is Plugin Fox, and we are back to get today with another plugin, Core Protect. Core Protect is a great plugin for rolling back your server, finding uh, what block people broke, um, and restoring stuff with fast protection pretty much for all your admin on the server. So let's just kind of look through this. You can pretty much do everything in this list. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to. But I'm going to just kind of go over what the basic features are for you guys, and we can kind of go from there. So like it will log blocks, log tree growth, vines, all that stuff. So let's get started. So let us hit download, and then download the plugin, and then we're going to jump over to my server. Alright guys, we are in our server, or my server right now. Um, so I'm using a thing called AMP, if you guys don't know. That's how I have this web UI, so let's just drag and drop the plugin in. Hit update. And run. And then, this is a great time to talk about. Um, so I have a brand new Minecraft Discord channel. So this Discord channel will be allowing people to talk about plugins, be able to get help from plugins, and just kind of join as a community to build servers and all that stuff. So if you guys are interested, the link is in the description below, and let us get into the game. Alright guys, we are back in the server, so let's just kind of go over the plugin. So if you do CO, help it will bring up the entire list of what you can do. So the first one we're going to do is CO inspect. But first, let's dig out a whole area here. So, and then if I put wood here. So now if I do CO inspect, if I left click, you'll see that Eskos placed oak plank, but it all, he also broke glass blocks. So that's a great utility to see what players broke and stuff. Um, you can also do that here. So if you right click on an empty block, you can see Eskos broke a glass block, or a grass block, sorry, not glass. Um, you can also do slash CO lookup, and then Eskos. Let's do radius. Five. Oh, and then time. Uh, we want to do five hours. Let's just do five hours. So every everything in five hours it'll pull up. So Esco's placed a block. Esco got rid of a block. All that stuff. So. That's a nice feature to have too, so you can do it within a radius, if that player was close by, you can see everything they destroyed and took care of. So, say someone greeted your server, so let's just go to TNT, and then, oh, I need to... So you can also do COI. So do it like this, CO space I, and that will do the core protect um, inspect really easy then. But let's do flint and steel to show off this really quick. Alright. Oh yeah, it's not going to blow up because we have different plugin on. Um, if it were to blow up, so say like this hole, we want to roll back. So if we do CO roll roll back. You can do it by person. So S goes by let's do time five hours again. And you'll see it's all gone now. So that is a great thing to do. You don't have to do radius. Everything they did within that five hours will get rolled back. Just be careful because it is very heavy intensive on the CPU and stuff if they do a lot. So if they tear out a mountain, it's going to take a long time to roll back. So, um, 
So the next one you can do is CO uh, reload or status. Let's do status. So status, it'll show everything of your core protects. So I'm using version 21.2. Uh, don't have a domain, use SQL, costume items, not anything, all that stuff. Um, and then the last one is slash reload. Or if I want to do CO, so say if I accidentally covered something up that shouldn't have been covered, I can do slash CO undo and you'll see these items are back. All right, so we're going to go into the config file now. Give me one second. All right, we are back in the config file. So you can connect this to a donation key if you visit them. You can also do MySQL, so if you have this across multiple databases, you can kind of track everything. Or just as a backup, if something happened, you would have all that uh, in your MySQL so you wouldn't lose any of it. Your language, check for updates. API enable, so you can utilize API stuff. So say if you had like a web browser and you wanted to do API things, so say how many blocks a player placed or any of that stuff, you could. Verbose, which is, um, you can pretty much, it's kind of like uh, Lucky Perms where you can do like permission stuff, but it also does uh, rollbacks. So this one you can do is trigger rollbacks frequently and all that stuff. Uh, default race is 10. Maximum race is 100. You can also change that to whatever your desire is. Uh, rollback items. So you can do items and chests and all that stuff. Uh, entities, so animals. So any animals I got killed, they'll be rolled back as well. Generic data, logs, uh, break blocks, natural break. So this will roll back everything that's they on fire from like trees just naturally. Block movement, this can roll back properly tracks blocks moving by pistons uh, burn uh, block igniting explosions entity change entry kill sign or uh, sign text buckets leaves trees mushrooms vines portals pretty much the whole nine yards they can do item drops item pick up um, so yeah, and then world edit stuff. Be sure if you have world edit to put this on. Sometimes this is put on false by the way. So what that means, what will happen is you screw something up with world edit because what happens is if you place something with world edit, what you can end up doing is if you accidentally leave the server, you can't undo the changes. So this is a great way to undo what you did by doing this and then restoring it back to the way it was. Player sessions, all that stuff. So this will literally track everything a player does and will do. So let's go over here really quick and you can see that they have their database here. So this file will get massive if you have a lot of people. But um, yeah, that's a lot of what World Edit or Core Protect will do for you. Um, other than that, I don't really have much else for you guys today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or put them in the Discord channel and we can answer them for you. Uh, leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.